हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट डे ऑफ स्कूल फ्रॉम होम आई एम रोजी हेयर विल टीच यू साइंस टूडे एज यू ऑल हैव फिनिश यूर चैप्टर वन जर्मिनेशन ऑफ सीड सो लेट एस स्टार्ट आर चैप्टर टू फूड एंड हेल्थ इन दिस चैप्टर यू विल नो अबाउट इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ फूड बैलेंस डाइट आर फिटनेस डिजीजेस एक्सेट्रा स्टूडेंट डू यू नो विच थ्री थिंग्स मेक आर बॉडी फिट Yes, that is proper food, proper rest, and proper exercise. So we today we will discuss about proper food. Proper food means a diet that contains all the nutrients in proper amount. That is called our balanced diet. This thing you have already read in class four. So now, what are nutrients? Nutrient means the essential substance present in our food. They give us energy. They help us to grow. So nutrients are proteins, vitamins, carbohydrates, fats, minerals, and roughage. They are very important for our body. On these basis, our food is divided into three groups. How many groups? Three groups. The first one is energy giving food. Our body needs energy to perform all the body functions. So food rich in carbohydrates. Give us energy. Can you tell me which food item rich in carbohydrates? Yes, that is rice, wheat, potato, etc. They give us carbohydrates, so they are called energy giving food. The next one is body building foods. We need this to grow for the maintenance of our body to repair our body. So food rich in proteins like pulses, cheese. milk etc they help us in body building so they are called body building food the last one is protective foods our fruits and vegetables are a protective food because they have vitamins and minerals so they protect us from diseases the next one is roughage roughage is also a nutrient what is roughage roughage means the fiber present in the food So here I am giving you one example. Suppose if you are taking one glass of an orange juice, that means you are taking only the nutrient of that orange. But if you are eating that orange also, that means with nutrient, you are eating that roughage part also. So this is the difference between the nutrients and the roughage. So the next is water. Of course, water is not our nutrient, but it is very important for our body. It it helps in our digestive system it makes our blood circulation etc so we should drink plenty of water daily so student here today's discussion is over so now i am giving you one very interesting activity through this activity you will come to know how much amount of nutrient you are taking daily so try to do this and see in morning in breakfast in your lunch or in your dinner which nutrient you are taking in maximum numbers and giving you some questions related to today's explanation so see that and try to form something more okay students take care and bye bye